sure to cook. Welcome back to another episode of Be Sure to Cook. Today, we are going to be making something a little bit different. We're going to be making Tuscan chicken, Be Sure's way. So stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, I have three chicken breasts that I've cut the bone out of the back of the chicken breast and two of the tenderloin chickens on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the skin on this. I'm going to rinse these off because I just got through taking the bone and cutting it and getting it all prepared the way I want it. And we're going to start cooking this. So first of all, we're going to rinse them off. And after we rinse them off, we're going to start patting them down, drying them off, and we're going to be seasoning them. Okay, I am taking paper towels and I'm damping the water off my chicken. Okay, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some flavor and we're gonna add a little Mrs. Dash on top of these chickens. Just to give, because we want this to sit. We're gonna be cutting up some stuff, guys, also. Okay, I'm gonna use a little bit of kosher salt. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt on here. It's just a little, just a sprinkle. And I'm gonna flip these also over. I got a paper towel over here. I can always wash my hands. And this is just a little bit on both sides. Okay, then me, I'm gonna do a little bit of paprika, just a tid. So what I want you to do is just barely sprinkle on paprika on all of these, the big ones and the little tenders also. Okay, I'm flipping these on the side and then that is paprika. You can use any type of paprika. Okay, I got black cracked pepper. Gonna add on here. Okay, I got a dish towel here or dish rag that I am wiping because I was messing with all that chicken. And when you mess with raw chicken, the first thing you want to do is you want to sanitize all your stuff that you use. Because if you don't sanitize, then you just be, keep using that over and over and over, touching that, and you can get sick. All right, I have rinsed some fresh parsley. And I'm trying to dry that. It's been drying for a while. And I'm trying to make sure I get all the water off there. But I still see a little water, but that's okay. It's going to dry off. And it's been sitting here just drying. So I'm going to wrap this up here. Put it in another paper towel. And we're going to be cutting up some garlic and some shallots. All right. I have peeled some garlic. Um, this is pretty big garlics so i'm gonna say these are about four garlics because if you take this big one in half and this one it's about mm, about four garlics okay this little thing is a shallot a little shallot i got a little one because i don't really need a lot this is a little shallot this is the cutest i mean i know it sounds crazy but this is the cutest little thing i, I couldn't believe i thought so i need this i don't need a lot a lot of people get you know, gray big. If you're gonna cook with it every day, then yeah, you know, grab a big one and you can always use it. Okay, now we're gonna be chopping up some of our ingredients. The first thing we're gonna do is, in this dish, it calls for sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, I'm gonna open these up. Oh, it's hard to open them. And I got the ones that were seal-proof in a seal-proof bag. These are a little softer to me. Oh, yes. So we're going to take some of these. We're going to cut some of these up. Okay, I got some of the sun-dried tomatoes. I love sun-dried tomatoes, but guess what? These are a little too big. So I'm going to cut some of these down. Okay, I'm going to dehydrate these, and I'm going to be using some white wine because white wine is also going to be going into this dish. Okay, we're going to use some white wine to reconstitute these tomatoes so i'm just going to cover it where it's just covered enough where it can be wet in, in there so probably about a half cup okay i got my little shallot here that i'm going to do 
We're going to cut. Okay. So I'm cutting up the garlic. Okay. Now I'm just going to run my knife over it. Okay. We're going to get that pan nice and hot. Okay. The pan is getting hot. We're going to squeeze a little olive oil in here. It's about two tablespoons. It's going to heat it up nice and hot. Okay, I took these chickens right out of the refrigerator and I'm just gonna, oh, wrong, side down, sorry. Skin side down, guys. Skin side down on that one. Let's try to get our little cutlets in there. Okay. I'm going to turn these chickens. Those cutlets might come out a little bit first. See, that's just the skin of that chicken. I, think I like the skin of that chicken. How crispy that skin is. Okay, I'm taking these tenders out. They're not finished, but I have to make the sauce. The chicken, I took the skin off. It's left it for, you know, so it won't actually turn around and, you know, crisp out on me and be all dry. So that's why I protected it. And that's all that good stuff in there. I'm gonna let these cook these for a couple of minutes and I'm taking these out. If they can't be done, they have to keep cooking. All right, I'm going to take this chicken out. It's still kind of raw, but that's the way I want it. Medium raw. I'm putting this off. I am also, guys, cooking on my lovely top that I love. I am going to add some shallots in here. Remember those shallots that we ch chopped up? Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to add those in there to, the, to that. I'm going to add that lovely garlic in there. Oh, yeah. Yummy. My pan, I'm adding a little of oregano. Okay, I got some thyme. One fourth teaspoon of thyme. All right, I am going to, <clears throat> I am, just lost my voice, I'm joking. I need to get something to drink, guys. Okay, I just added a little bit more olive oil to get the pan going again. That chicken took all that olive oil because we want to really cook these. With all the seasons that we put in here. <clears throat> okay, so those sun dried tomatoes and that I'm gonna pull in there. And I think this was like maybe a half a cup of you know the white wine, just to get all those bits in there. And I wanna cook all that. Look at that. Yes, that's what I needed. Mm -hmm. And it get all that bits. You got that garlic, you got those shallots coming along good and look it got all my bits that I need out of there that's exactly what I'm looking for okay I'm adding another half cup so I want a whole full cup of white wine in there because I make I want to make a lot of this sauce here a lot of people like the sauce we're going to be making some pasta with this also I'm letting this cook let me get my spinach together here and we'll be going okay I got parmesan oregano and I got a, a little block of it here. And I'm definitely getting ready to start to grade some. Okay, so uh, micro grade, that's what it is, like a micro grade up. And I did it very thin and small, great. So we're gonna be needing that. We got our cup spinach. And let's go back to the oven. Okay, now we're going to have some boiling water for our noodles. So we're going to put some olive oil inside there. Let that go. In the meantime, we got this up to a simmer. We're going to add a cup of half and half, a half a cup of half and half, and a half a cup of 
cream. A half a cup of half and half. And now we're going to add a half a cup of heavy cream. And then this is the half a cup of heavy cream. I want that heavy cream because I want that. Big. Oh, look at that. That's going to be spectacular. I'm just going to add a pinch of that Parmesan Oregano cheese. Just a pinch because it's so, so, I have shredded it so thin and so light with a micro bead. So you won't be able to see that at all. A little bit more because I'm a seasoned person of my all purpose Mrs. Dash seasoning. A little more, uh, just a pinch more of paprika. Okay, I got some penne pasta the shells that I put into some boiling water with a little olive oil that is cooking. I had turned down my sauce so I can get it prepared to put my chicken back into my sauce. And look at all those juices with the chicken. The chicken is still not cooked good. I'm just gonna lay these chickens and all that juice back into the pot and let this take its course and finish cooking. Okay, I'm submerging all of this chicken because it still needs to cook. I'm gonna submerge that into all of that sauce. I am gonna lay my spinach leaves on top of my chicken. And it's cooking, it's gonna welt it. I'm gonna put a top on it and I'm gonna let it hang out for a couple minutes. Okay, a couple of minutes, and it is cooking right on in here. Great. I want my chicken to cook in here. I want my spinach to go on and get in down in here and really do that wonderful job with my sun dried tomatoes. And if you don't like a lot of sun dried tomatoes, you can cut them up and dice them up. So what I did is I took them out of the uh, out of the wine mixture and then I diced them up a little bit. I thought they were a little bit too big for me. So I just diced them up and put as many as I wanted in there to make it go in there. Cause that was way too big of tomatoes. So what they do is they do the whole thing. You can dice those if you want. Okay, my noodles are done. Now I'm gonna strain my noodles. Okay, if you put your chicken in and you finish cooking your chicken, then you take your chicken out, put your chicken on a plate and you turn up the heat and you really let this rip because you want to get this sauce thick. You know, a little thick because it has to go on your pasta noodles and everything. It's not quite thick, but it's coming there. And then don't forget, we've got that cheese we're going to add on there and on the chicken at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to start adding all of this cheese in. And I'm going to stir all this cheese all in here. Get that nice, rich color and flavor and hoping it, it's thickening. But it is going to get thick and it's going to bring this all together. We're going to put our chickens back in here for about a couple of minutes, about 10 minutes in here. And then it'll be time to serve. Got a little parsley that I'm just going to chop up nice and finely. Okay, so the chicken is done, and I'm just gonna lay that on top. And we've got to get some sun dried tomatoes on here. Looking and searching. Oh, because I did put them up in nice. I'm gonna get a little bit of the sauce. You keep cooking it, the sauce will go over that. And over the noodles, just a little bit over the noodles, the sauce. You don't want the sauce too thick because if you get the sauce too thick, then it'll look like gravy. You don't want gravy. You just want it to thoroughly sprinkle on top. Okay, a little bit of my parsley to go over it to make that look appetizing. Okay, here it is. Be sure to cook Tuscan chicken my way.
And this is how I would fix it, and this is how anybody else should fix it. Like I said, those sun charred tomatoes, I soaked them in the white wine, and I took them out, and I put them in there. But you can cut those and dice those up, and then you put them in there. I had too many. I think it was for me. I don't. I like tomatoes, but I don't like tomatoes like that. But if you love them, leave them in there. But you can dice them up, or if you like them big, you can do them anyway. Okay, so I know you all guys want to see what that chicken looks like inside. And there you go. Great, all white meat chicken. And that is great with sun dried tomatoes and all that great stuff. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this dish. I enjoyed making it because guess what? I didn't make this alone. You and me, we made this together. And we did this, and I hope you can come back so we can make plenty more dishes. And I hope you enjoyed this dish. Come back next time so we can do another dish, and I hope you enjoy it. See you next. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you later. Bye.